from blasphemy. You must believe in Yahushua as the scripture says. You must kiss the son. You must acknowledge the son as the father, as the son, as your savior, as your almighty. Because all the power in heaven and on the earth will give back to Yahushua. Our savior, our messiah, our almighty, our Abba, our Yahuwah who came to save us. And now let's go. And now let's go to the transfiguration. The only thing that you have that Yahushua gave you. You're also gonna learn up with what I'm saying, what Yahushua gave me, what you have, and what I'm gonna give in Yahushua name. Add it to what you have. Increase in learning. You must learn and come into knowledge. You must learn and apply to your life. You must ever learn because Yahushua is, is, is ever teaching you. So you must ever learn and come into knowledge. You must acknowledge Yahushua as your savior, as your messiah, as the Almighty, as Yahuwah, as Jeremiah chapter 23, five to six says, we'll call Yahushua Yahuwah, our righteous savior. Besides Yahuwah, there's no other savior. So when Yahushua came, we say, I'm on the all. The Almighty is with us. When Yahushua came, we call Yahushua Yahuwah, our righteous savior. We give all power to Yahushua that was in the heavens and on the earth. Matthew chapter 17 now, the transfiguration. And after six days, Yahushua took Peter, James, and John, his brothers, and brought them up into a high mountain, a pot, and was transfigured before them. And his face they shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah, Aliyah, talking with them. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahushua, Master, Messiah, it is good for us to be here. If thou will, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Aliyah. While yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, we say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Yahushua says, He is Yahuwah. I heard, I believe. Yahushua says, He is the Abba, He is the Almighty. I heard, I believe. Matthew chapter 17, verses 5. While him Peter yet speak, behold, a broad cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud. We say, and this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Yahushua came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. For quick precept, let's go to. John chapter fourteen.
John chapter 14, Yahushua says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Almighty, believe also in me. And let's go to five. Thomas said unto him, Master Messiah, we know not what a dog goes, and how can we know the way? Yahushua said unto him, I, Yahushua, am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father, but by me. The honest thing is, when you go to Yahushua, you go to the Abba. When you accept Yahushua, you, you have accepted the Almighty. As John says in John chapter 1, verse 12, as many as receive him unto them, he Yahushua gave the power, the authority for them to be called the sons of the Almighty. When you accept Yahushua as your Messiah, now Yahushua is your Messiah and your, Al your Almighty, your Savior, your All Shaddai. John chapter 14, verse 1. Yahushua said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in the Almighty, believe also in me. Go to Father again. Tell me, say unto him, Messiah, we do not know. We know not what that goal is. And how can we know the way? Yahushua said unto them, I, Yahushua, am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Abba but by me. The honest thing is the interpretation according to Ecclesiastes 6, 8 verses 1. So the interpretation is Yahushua is our Messiah. Yahushua is our Abba. According to Revelation chapter 1, according to Revelation chapter 21, 5 to 7, that those that overcome, we that will overcome, we that have overcome, everything will be given to us. Yahushua is. Our Almighty Yahushua is our Father, our Abba. For the seven, John chapter 14, 7, Yahushua says, If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. Yahushua is the Father. Yahushua is the Abba. According to Isaiah chapter 9, 6 to 7, we we'll call Yahushua our Abba, our Almighty. Yahushua says, If ye have known me, ye should have known my Father also. So now you know Yahushua is the Father, the Almighty, that Yahushua is Yahuwah, who came to save. Thomas said unto him, Messiah, we, we know not what that go is, and how can we know the way? Yahushua said unto him, I, Yahushua, am the way, the truth, and the life. No may come unto the Father but by me. And Yahushua says, If ye had known me, ye would have known my Abba also. From henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23, verse 5. The days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when I will rest over the way a righteous branch, a king will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah and Yehuda will be saved. Judah is Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. In Israel, then Naphtali, Asher, Zebulon, Yeshiko, Simeon, Ger, Joseph, 
Manasseh and Ephraim and Benjamin, that's Israel. The days are coming which we are in those days, we are in these days. The days are coming declares Yahuwah. When I will raise over David for that we a righteous branch, which is our Messiah, a king will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah, Yehuda will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called Yahuwah, our righteous Savior. John chapter 14, 7. Yeah, which was if you know me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Revelation chapter 1 for says 7 Behold, He yah cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all the kindred of the earth shall wail or cry because of him. Even so, hallelujah. Verse 8. Yeah, which was says, I'm the Aleph and the Tau, the beginning and the ending. Says Yahuwah, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Psalm 104, but right, Yahuwah my soul, O Yahuwah my almighty, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who cover thyself with light, as with a garment, who scratches out the heavens like a curtain, who lays the beam of the chambers in the waters, who make the clouds a chariot who walk upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits, his ministers flaming fire, who lays the foundation of the earth that it should never be removed forever. John chapter 14, verse 8. Philip said unto him, Messiah, show us the Abba, show us the Father. And it will be sufficient for us. Yahushua said unto me, unto him, Have I been so long with you? Hallelujah. Praise God. John chapter 14, verse 8. Philip said unto Yahushua, Messiah, show us the Father, and it, it is sufficient for us. Yahushua said unto him, Have I been so long with so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me, has seen the Abba. How says thou then show us the Father? So Philip asked to see the Almighty. And then Yahushua answered and said, I've been with you for so long. How can you not know me? Alright. He asked to see the Almighty. While the Messiah was sneering from him, he asked to see the Almighty. And the, the Messiah answered and said, And Yahushua says, Have I been so long time with you? And yet, hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Abba, the Father. 
And how it says thou, then show us the Father. So I'm a little to sink in. Hallelujah, praise ya. Now I'll go back to the transfiguration. Matthew chapter 17, the transfiguration of Yahushua. And after six days, Yahushua takes Peter, James, and John, his brothers, and bring them up into a high mountain apart and was transfigured before them. And his face did they shine as the sun. And his regiment was white as the light, as we just read in the book of Psalm, that yet what cover himself with light as with clothes. So now Yahushua is Yahua, our Almighty that came down. So is it Emmanuel, Emmanuel? But Yahushua made himself a little lower than the angels. So when Yahushua took Peter, John, and James up to the mountain, Yahushua showed them that he was the Almighty in the flesh. And after six days, Yahushua takes Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into a high mountain apart and was transfigured before them in his face they shine as the sun and his regiment or his clothes was white as light and behold there appeared unto them Moses Elijah talking with them then answered Peter and said unto Yahushua Messiah Messiah it is good for us to be here if thou Will let us take yet three tabernacles, one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Aliyah, while he is yet speak, behold, a bright cloud overshoe, overshadow them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud we say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Yahushua came and touched them and said, Arise, and do not be afraid. And when they had lift up their eyes, they saw no man save Yahushua only. So when a voice spoke, they heard a voice, and who they saw was Yahushua. Verse 8 And when they had left up the eyes, they saw no man save Yahushua only. So when they heard a voice that said, This is my beloved son, whom I'm well pleased, listen to him. When they woke up, they, they did not see no man. Only Yahushua, our Almighty, they saw. And I'm going to sing in to Yahushua's sheep. The Yahushua will give you the mysteries. Verse 9. And as they came down from the mountain, Yahushua charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be raised again from the dead. Let's go to the testament of, of Adam, the first man. And this is what the Almighty told Adam, the first man. 
the testament of Adam chapter chapter 3 the prophecy Adam said to Seth his son you have heard my son that Yahuwah the Almighty is going to come into the world after a long time he will be conceived of a virgin and put on a body be born like a human being and grow up as a child he will perform signs and wonders on the earth will walk on the water, on the wave of the sea he will rebuke the winds and they will be silent he will motion to the wave and they will stand still he will open the eyes of the blind and cleanse the lepers he will cause the deaf to hear and the mute to speak he will strengthen the hunchback and screen the paralyzed find the lost and drive out evil spirits and cast out demons he spoke to me about this in paradise after I picked some of the fruit in which death was hiding. Adam, Adam, do not fear. You wanted to be a mighty one. I will make you a mighty one. Not right now. But after a space of many years, I'm calling you to death in the maggots and the worm will eat your body. And I answered and said to him, Why my almighty? And he said to me, because you listen to the words of the serpent, you and your prosperity or your children will be full for the serpent. But after a short time, there will be mercy on you because you were created in my image. And I will, I will not leave you to waste away in Sheol or hell. For your sake, I, Yahuwah, your Almighty, will be born of the Virgin Mary. For your sake, I will test death and enter the house of the dead for your sake i will make a new heaven and i will be established over your prosperity all your children and after three days while i yahuwah your almighty am in the tomb i will rest of the body i receive from you john chapter 1 verses 1 the world the word become flesh. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Almighty, and the word is the Almighty. Another part I link to the trans transfiguration. Matthew chapter 17. It also linked to the good news of Philip. The same Philip by Asia Hushua to show us the Father. So now, when Yahushua talks to some of his believers on the mountain and convincing them that he was the Almighty. They also convinced the other believers that Yahushua, our Savior, is really our Almighty. So now, this is what Philip, the believer of Yahushua, wrote after they were convinced that Yahushua, our Savior, is our Almighty that came down on the earth, was born like a human being, and did the miracles, the goodness of Philip. It says, Yahushua tricked everyone. For he did not he did not appear as he was, but he appeared to him. Hallelujah, praise ya. Yahushua tricked everyone. For he did not appear as he was, but he appeared so that he could be seen. The world become flesh. You cannot see spirit. You cannot see rock. So the Almighty being rock came in the human being body he appeared to everyone he appeared to the great as great he appeared to the small as small he appeared to the, the angels as an angel to human beings as human for this reason his word was hidden from everyone some looked at him and thought 
they saw themselves. But when he appeared to his disciples in glory upon the mountain, he was not small, he became great, or rather, he made the disciples great so that so they could see him in his greatness. A quick precept. Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then Yah said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Yah said to me, It is done. I am the Aleph and the Tau, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water with a cost from the spring of the water of life, which is the the Rurak HaKodesh. Those who are victorious will have all, all this, and I will be their Almighty, and they will be my children. First in Acts chapter 46. At that place, I in a saw the one to whom belongs the town before town. And his hair was white like wool. And there was with him another individual whose face was like that of a human being. His countenance was full of grace like that of one among the holy angels and as the one from among the angels who was going who was going with me and who has revealed to me all the secret recording the one who was born of human beings who is this and from where is seen who is going as the prototype of the before time and he answered and said to me this is the son of man to whom belong righteousness, and with whom righteousness dwells, and he will open all the hidden storerooms for the Almighty of the spirits has chosen him, and he is destined to be victorious before the Almighty of the spirits in eternal uprightness. This son of man whom you have seen is the one who will remove the kings and the mighty ones from their comfortable seats and the scorned ones from their tunnels. He will loosen the, the reins of the scorned and curse the teeth of the sinners. He shall depose the kings from their tunnels and kingdoms. For they do not exalt and glorify him, and neither do they obey him, the source of the kingship. The faces of the strong will be slapped and be filled with shame and gloom. The dwelling places and the bears will be warm. They shall have no hope to rise from their bears, for they do not as though the name of Yahuwah, Almighty of the Spirits. Hallelujah. Which also precept to the book of Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 14. We talk about the king of Babylon and the devil. Because the devil is over Babylon. The devil is over ancient Babylon. That's why the people are practicing homosexuality. And now the devil is over mourning the Babylon. And the people are practicing homosexuality and all type of all type of sin. Alright. And the point I want to point out to you is in Isis at that place I saw the one to whom belongs the time before time and his hair was white like wool. 
Where else do we see this there? In the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. Daniel chapter 7. Verse 9. As I, Daniel, look, tunnels were set in place. In the ancient of days, took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair of his hair was white like, like wool. His tongue was flaming with fire. And it, its wheels were all blaze, all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were open, which is the book of life and death. A mention of ancient, ancient of days, having white woody hair and flaming eyes. Now the good revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 12. And I, John, turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gony lampstands. And among the lampstands was someone like the Son of Man, dressing a robe, reaching down to his feet. And with a golden sash, around his chest. The hair on his head was white like wool, or like sheep hair, afro. The hair on his, on his head was white like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were like a blazing fire. His feet were like brass, burnt in the furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Daniel chapter 7 again. Daniel saw the, the ancient of days. John saw Yahushua, the ancient of days. Having white woolly hair, having flaming eyes, having skin color like brass. You take iron, you put it in the fire, you burn it. Daniel chapter 7. Verses 9. As I, Daniel, looked, thrones were set in place, and the ancients of days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair on his hair was white like wool. His throne, his throne was flaming with fire, and his wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended, attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, which are the angels. Nine choirs of angels. Before him, the court, the court was seated, and the books were open. Then they all saw the ancient of days, John. The revelator saw Yahushua, the ancient of days. Enoch saw the ancient of days. Before even Yahushua came down on the earth, Enoch saw him as the ancient of days. From the Old Testament, so the pre volume 2. The ascension of Isaiah. Verses 11. And Isaiah says, The marvelous breath of our Almighty Yahuwah. And after this, 
I, as your look and the angel who spoke to me and led me, said to me, Understand as your son of Amos, because for this purpose I was sent from Yahuwah. And I saw a woman of the family of David, the prophet, whose name was Mary, Miriam, and she was a virgin and was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, a capitol, capit and, and he also was of the sea, a family of the righteous David of Bethlehem in Judah. And he came into his lot, and when she was betrothed, she was found to be pregnant, and Joseph, the capital, wished to divorce her, but the angel of the set apart spirit appeared in this world, which is Gabriel, Gabriel, and the angel of the spirit appeared in this world, and after this, Joseph did not divorce Mary, but he did not reveal this matter to anyone, and he did not approach Mary, but kept her as a holy virgin, although she was pregnant, and he did not live with her for two months, and after two months of days, while Joseph was in his house, and Mary, his wife, both alone, it came about when they were alone that Mary looked that Mary then looked with her eyes and saw a small infant and she was astounded and after her astounding has one of her womb was found as it was at first before she had conceived and when her husband Joseph said to her what has made you astounded? His eyes were open and he saw the infant and praised Yahuwah because Yahuwah had come in his lot. And a voice came to them, do not tell this vision to anyone, but let the story about the infant, but the story about the infant was spread about in Jerusalem. Some say the virgin had given birth before she had been married two months. But many said she did not give birth. The male wife did not go up to her, and we did not hear any cries of pain. And they were all blinded concerning him. They all knew about him, but they did not know from where he was. And they took him and when the Nazarene in Galilee, hallelujah. And I said, now this, this is Isaiah speaking now. And I said, oh, oh Hezekiah and Joseph, my son, and said to the other prophets also who are standing by, that this was hailing from all the heavens and all the princes, even the God of this world. So even the devil, he did not know that Yahushua was the Almighty. Alright? It was the mystery how Yahuwah, our Almighty, came into the world, was born like a human being to save human being. It was a mystery. It was a mystery until now that you know that Yahushua is our Almighty Emmanuel.
In March chapter 3, verse 4, where a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey, where a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing, can he bear for in a snare upon the earth where no gain is for it, for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and had taken nothing of it? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahuwah has not done it? So you hear about the coronavirus? It's the Almighty that did it. The Almighty brought the coronavirus, but He saved people. According to the book of Psalm, that no evil, no person would be for those that acknowledge Him. That 10,000 will fall, but it won't come near you. In Mark chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in a city, and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in a city? And Yahuwah has not done it. Surely Yahuwah Almighty does. Surely Yahuwah Almighty will do nothing but Yah reveal his secret unto his prophets. Third in Acts chapter four verse six. Moreover, the holy one, the set apart one, Barak Biyah does nothing in this world without first taking counsel with them. Then he adds, as it is written, such is the sentence proclaimed by the watchers, the verdict announced by the holy ones. So before the Almighty do anything, they gotta be counsel in the heaven. All the angels, all the saints, they come together and they settle, they settle the, they settle the issue. When they settle it, then the punishment or the blessing go forth. Moreover, the Quadash one Barak Biya does nothing in this world without first taking counsel with them. Then Yah adds, as, is the, as it is written, such is the sentence proclaimed by the watchers, the verdict announced by the holy ones. There are two watchers and two holy ones. How do they stand before the Quadash one, Barak Biyah, blessed Biyah, Barak Biyah? It is thought that a watcher stand on one side and the Holy One on the other. They abase the, they abase the ignorant, the arrogant to the earth. And exalt the lowly on high. Every day, when the Holy One, the, the, the Quadash One Barak Biya sit on the tunnel of judgment and judge all the world with the books of the living and the book of the dead. With the book of the living and the book of the dead open before him, all the, all the celestials stand before him in fear, dread, terror, and trembling. When the Quadash one Barak Biya sits in judgment on the throne of judgment, his garment is white, the snow, the hair of his hair is as pure wool. His whole robe shines like it does not light. And he is covered all over with righteousness as with a coat of mail. 
Aleluia. Third in our chapter 16. Ishmael said, the angel met the trump prince of the divine, divine persons. The glory of the highest heaven said on me. So now this is Enoch. So Enoch is the angel in heaven. As Yahweh said, will be like angels. In the book. Of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 12. For says. Seven. Yahuwah also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall Yahuwah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and him that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as the Almighty, as the angel of Yahuwah before them. So will be like the angels. The children of Israel will be like David in a new body, in a heavenly body. And the house of David will be like the angels in a new body. So Enoch, our ancestor in the heaven, he's an angel. He has power over all the angels. The Almighty given power over all the angels. Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. At that time shall Marco, Marco all stand up, the great prince who stands for the children of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time that people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall be awakened some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever so it's our job to turn men into Yahushua. Those in Yahushua, we are, we are returning to the scriptures concerning Yahushua. Those that are not Yahushua, it's our job, our duty to turn them to Yahushua, the righteous one of Israel. And they will be like the angels. And we also will be like the angels. As the book of Daniel says, Daniel chapter 23, and they that, that be wise shall shine as the front of, as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Believe come a year in. Once a year, believe Yahushua is Messiah. And those in Yahushua Hamashiach increase in learning. Like the scripture said, be wise. Second in that third in that chapter 16, Ishmael said the angel Metatron, prince of the divine person, that the, the glory of the highest heaven said, which is Enoch, the grandfather of Noah, he's the angel in the heaven. At first I sat. So now this Enoch speaking. Enoch says, At first I sat upon a great throne at the door of the seven palace, and I judged all the denizens of the heights on the authority of the Holy One, the Quadash One, Barak be him, Barak be Yah. I sound greatness, royalty, rank, sovereignty, glory, praise, diadem, crown, and honor to all the prince, the princes of kingdoms. When I in a sat in the heavenly court, the princes of the kingdom stood beside me 
to my right and to my to my left but the third of the quadash one by rugby yeah Persia. Yeah. but when a Harry which is son of a Harry is son of Levi the priest but when a Harry came to behold the vision of the of the chariot and set eyes upon me he was afraid and trembled before me his soul was alarmed to the point of leaving him because of his fear dread and terror of me when he saw me seated upon a throne like a king with minister of angels sitting beside me as servants and all the princes of kingdom crowned with crowns surrounding me then he opened his mouth and said there there are indeed two powers in heaven immediately a divine voice came out from the presence of the shakana and said come to me come back to me a poster sons apart from a hurry then anapi or yahua the honor the glorifier the beloved wonderful terrible and joyful prince came at the command of yahushua the quadash one barak biya and struck me with 60 latches of fire and made me stand to my feet in that the grandfather of noah was taken up alive by yahuwah because he believed and he nights over all the angels in heaven you will have believed in yahushua you'll be like the angels ekundo daniel chapter 12 verse 3 ekundo zachariah chapter 12 verse 7 to 8 you'll be like the angels when you believe in yahushua our messiah when ahari son of Levi, the priest when he was taken up into heaven to see Yahushua Tanon. But then he saw Enoch instead standing, sitting like a king with all the angels on his left, on his right. All the angels in heaven were under the command of Enoch. He wanted to see the tunnel of Yahushua, but then he saw Enoch. And then he blasphemed by saying, There's two powers in heaven.